Hello and thanks for tuning in to this video review of PokerStars Mobile Poker. PokerStars was the first poker platform to offer real money poker to the mobile scene and they began offering it first to Apple users in January of 2012 and then to Android users in February of 2012. The opening screen is pretty self-explanatory and features various pros looking super cool. I don't know why that guy needs sunglasses, must make it pretty hard to see the cards. The software itself is relatively easy to use, although navigating it can be a bit confusing until you get used to the icons. The software does offer a lot of the same options you'll find in the PC counterpart, including configuration options, self-exclusion, and even game filters. Now at this time, it does only offer Omaha and Hold'em, but you do have the choice of playing in multi-table tournaments, sit and goes, and even Zoom poker, so there is still a bit of variety. There are plenty of game filters, however, that allow you to sort by buy-in, field size, and other options, so it does make finding games quite easy. You'll find a lot of the basic options that you'd find in the PC client, such as four color decks and animations, although there are a few options like custom bet sizing options that are missing. Now the gameplay itself is actually rather smooth, especially considering it's running on a mobile phone. It does have its laggy moments, but usually they're pretty brief. The table interface itself is pretty well laid out, however the tick boxes are a bit on the small side. Adding and closing tables is quick and easy, and can be done right on the game screen, so you don't have to miss any hands. On Android devices you can play up to 4 tables at the same time, and up to 5 tables on Apple products. Now while the mobile software may be okay for casual players, or even serious players looking for a quick session when they can't get to a computer, it's definitely not a solid replacement for the desktop client. Because of the brief lag spikes, as well as the lack of options, and the cashier being limited to only making deposits, there's still a lot left lacking. As well, you can't do things like buy tickets with points in the store, or even check VPP balances, so it's only really a good alternative if you're looking for a few quick hands of poker. All in all, the software really is impressive, and with just a little more put into it, it would be a well-rounded experience. I definitely recommend checking it out if you're looking to have a little fun playing poker. As usual, thanks for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to click like and also subscribe to our channel to be notified when new videos are uploaded. We're also doing a monthly giveaway for all our subscribers, so check the details in the description box below to enter. You can also click one of the videos below to check out some of our other strategy videos.